Hi everybody, Doug Hippie again from EAC Product Development Solutions with another tip of the week. Today we're going to look at a new feature in Creo Parametric 2.0 that I think you'll find very handy. What that feature is, is the new sketched form feature. So while you're in Sheet Metal, go ahead and select the form dropdown and pick on sketched form. That's going to automatically take you into going in to sketch a profile that you want to put on your form. So let's talk a little bit about this. I'm going to just create a quick louver here. And what's really cool is as I'm creating uh, this louver, it makes things very simple in order for me to have opened sections or opened areas from within my feature. So let's take a look at that very quickly here while I very handsomely change this form. Okay, so you can pick and preview. You see the automatic regeneration that's occurring. There's several different options you've got available here. Okay, one of those options is to exclude surfaces. So I can just pick on the surface I want to exclude and it eliminates that surface creating an opening. If I'd like to add taper, I can introduce that taper at this point. And that taper can either be uh, created from the, from the tab within the ribbon or if I right click, I can also select it. So I don't have to go back over to my rib ribbon in order to do that. So I'm now gonna go ahead and accept this, but before I do accept it, let's take a look at a couple more options. One of those options are rounding the sharp edges. So there's two elements here. There's the non-placement edges. Those are the edges that aren't adjacent to the surface that you did your sketch from. Okay, so in other words, those are gonna be the, the edges that are up on the top of my form here. So I'm gonna go ahead and set that, and you'll notice that it creates those. And your options here are for a thickness, or a half times the thickness, or a specification of a bend radius that you'd like to have. Okay, we're gonna also do the same thing for the placement edges. We're just gonna add that, and then we're just going to uh, introduce changes here just for kicks and let it use that bend radius. Very quick very simple way in order to make a sketched form. Okay, so that's gonna follow whatever profile that you put in your sketch and then you can make changes. So the thing to remember, if you are gonna do something like a louver, you'll notice that the back side of my sketch had fillets in it, but the front face did not so that I could uh, have that in entirely open area for that louver. Play with this a little bit, come up with some fairly creative uh, profiles that you've got, share them if you will. So, any questions? Contact your friendly EAC account manager. Let them know that you saw Doug Hippie's tip of the week. You'd like to get more information. This is Doug Hippie again from EAC Product Development Solutions, hoping you have a great week.